What's up everybody, my name is Sui. Today we'll be doing another reaction to JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, Stardust Crusader. Today I'll be doing a reaction to episodes 5 and 6 in my bed because I'm tired and my bed feels comfy and this is where I like to watch anime at. So yeah, 5 and 6. Today we'll be doing 2 episodes per in, in this one video. I hope this format and can help increase my speed of watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It is a very very long series and I kind of wish I can speed it up, you know. So one episode per like, per day is, is, is you know, it's kind of restricting, so two episodes now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the format and let's jump into the reaction 5 and 6. So, Jean Ponoref. Okay. So what's so special about this clock? This table clock thing? Okay, so we, we do know that Av Avidol is, uh, is really good with uh, flames. The beginning of all things. Oh shit! Look at that! My my man is showing off his sword skills. There are flames between each coin. Is that supposed to be impressive? Holy cow! So magician's red fire is useless against the sword guy, Gene. Oh, he is fast. When did he get behind them? I don't understand why he's explaining his powers to them. Like, is, is this something smart to do? Because I, I don't think this is smart at all. Oh, fitting victory. Okay. Okay, so this Jean guy has, uh, has a sword stand and he it is uh and he's not you know he explained all the abilities to them and he's not um uh, he, he's not letting any of his abilities uh to be unknown you know I, I don't know what i'm saying right now anymore so why is he taking him why is he taking them outside that's my question oh he carved out he carved out the chicken. He carved out a chicken out of his, out of his powers. Man, this guy's pretty good. Suck. That is so weird. My guy, he just, he just defeated him in one hit. Oh my gosh. I kind of think, I, I kind of think, Advidel is is kind of. Kind of bad. Whoa! He used the stone statue against him. Okay, I take back my words. He must be. He must be pretty good. Ten years too soon. A fortune teller with predictions. Oh, he knew he was gonna win, right? Yo, this is actually pretty insane. Oh, he's not dead yet. Oh, his armor is falling off. No, it's... it's... He, he got launched. What is happening? Oh, he's not phased. It's like he didn't even get hit. With his armor off? I want to see this. Holy cow. Okay, so, so, so the Cell Chariot's armor saved him. 
It multiplied. Shadow clones? Yo, that is insane. Oh my gosh. Yo, is is it actual clones or is it just moving really, really, really fast? I think it just might be moving really, really fast. Yo, so a chariot. Fire chicken seem pretty well in dodging, not gonna lie. Yo, the purple flames looks hell amazing. Bro, it's so fast. Oh my gosh. Just attack the just attack the user. He's been training for over 10 years? Bro, this guy is good. Speed? Oh, there's a speed version. How is he going to do that? Bro, he just attacked him directly. Oh man, this guy's literally roasting. I feel like he's gonna pull something, isn't he? Oh, he didn't kill him, but... Nice. Bro, he's also being controlled? Did we get a new guy now? Kinda feels like a Pokemon journey now. Just getting new guys here and there. It's, it's like ev is every is every person they fight gonna join them? A very bizarre question. Oh man. He had two right arms. Oh, that's kind of nasty. Okay, so so he's trying to get revenge for for the for his sister. So he met Dio a year ago. What's happening? What's that have to do with Dio? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh dang, Dio looking kind of sassy. Do he didn't even get a choice? I don't understand why. Why why would they even go to Dio's place? So Dio has been working with the guy with two right arms. Gene Terry Palmeret. So his stand is just a sword? <laughs> Man, you know Jotaro is so popular everywhere. <laughs> Oh my god, he is not taking the right pictures. That was very sudden. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we have just finished the episode. Uh, let's see, what episode was it again? Episode 5 of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders. And I believe our... New member called Jean Ponareff has has joined the crew, uh, team crew, whatever it's called. Uh, and I I really I really really enjoyed his uh, his character design. It's it's pretty unique. He has this like super super long, like silver hair, and and he's French. I think I think is is he Italian or is he French? Or wait. Do Italian people speak French, or or, or, or do they speak Italian? I I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I am so tired. Oh my gosh. Well, and, and anyway, um, this episode was definitely 
Uh, very interesting. We got introduced to his uh, sword stand, which I think I think I I think this is probably the coolest stand yet because uh, his uh, he has two modes on his skins. Uh, the first mode is where he had his uh, where the, his armored mode, where I mean he he's really fast already with his sword in in speed wise, and but once his armor falls off, falls off, uh, he his stand is so freaking fast. It is an amazing stand and I think he was held back because he was being controlled by Dio and yeah I can't wait until uh I can't wait for episode 6 so I'm gonna jump to episode 6 uh right now okay so we are back with episode 6 I believe and now just doing like quick recaps oh yeah they're going through the boat now yeah, come on, do something about those uniforms. That's what I was wondering. Oh, you guys need to shut up. They do not behave like students. Bushido? I don't think Bushido has anything to do with it. Smokey? That's not Smokey. Okay, so we're going on like a sea adventure right now. To get to Egypt, I think. Now we're faced with this uh, random kid that's pretty violent, and he can swim, obviously. I wouldn't just jump off a boat in the middle of the ocean. That's kind of dumb. Oh crap, there's a shark. Got stands. Use their stands. You know what I find really interesting? If these people... You know, most of these people don't like. Oh crap! Just punch a shark out of the water multiple times. It's a girl. Holy! I mean, I don't think he cares at all. I don't think George and her would be would care. <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, what is that? A sea monster? Oh, that looks freaky. Oh, that looks like a. Is it? Is it another stand? Holy! Oh my gosh! It is a stand. Are we? Are we getting a new stand every single episode? I don't think. I don't think she's the stand user. Well, why would she fight with a random knife? Are they speaking telepathically? Oh yeah, okay, okay. I, I finally remember what I was going to say. Uh, so, I believe there is two Japanese, an African, and a French guy. Mike, and, oh, and also a, a European. How in the world are they all speaking Japanese so freaking fluently? I think this woman's a, uh, I mean, this girl is a, is a, is a Filipino? I, I don't know. Everybody's speaking Japanese perfectly. Oh, I thought he was a, he was a, he was a stand. He was about, oh, really? He is jacked. This guy's jacked. Wait, what? Jotaro is smoking? That's pretty random. Is this being censored? I didn't know Jotaro was smoking. Oh, he is gonna piss Jotaro off. He isn't the captain? He's a stand user? There has to be something really, really suspicious about him for him to figure it out then. I, I, I believe Jotaro. I believe Jotaro. His shadow looked really weird earlier. Oh, he fell for it. This guy fell for it. Oh, that is so fast. What gave him away? Oh, there goes the fish. Now we're facing a fish stand now. Dark blue moon. And also, I, I, I've noticed that some of these uh, stand names are... Like, I, I heard this... Uh, this series likes uh, doing music references with, uh, with stand names and stuff. Oh yeah, he does have all the vantage. 
How do they know it's uh, it's called the Star Platinum? Oh, yo! Oh my God! Did he just one shot this guy? No way it could be this easy. He almost one shotted this guy. Oh my God! Star Platinum stats are so high. Oh, what is wrong? What? Yo, what is happening? Acorn? What? Is this... Oh, that's his powers? Oh my gosh. Now he's in the water. Oh, he's still alive. Uh oh. And he can't fight with his full strength right now. Oh, he can talk through the stand? Oh, it is so growing. That, that is one ugly looking stand, I'm not gonna lie. No! Scales in the water? Oh no, they can't even get in. Oh, that is a lot of scales. Is he, is this guy trying to pull, pull a JoJo? I don't think he can. That's a JoJo thing. You can't do that. I I don't. I just can't imagine how he's gonna get out of this. Why is this a good thing? I don't understand why it's a good thing. Star finger. Oh, what in the world is this? Is this, is this his powers? Oh, that's his, is that his ability? He can stretch his fingers. That's a pretty amazing ability. Ooh, what kind? Yo, these, these stand battles are really, really creative. What is happening now? He planted bombs? Yeah, I don't even think they can get the emergency boats right now. Wow. This looks rough. There's no way they're gonna get to each up on time right now, are they? Dark blue moon. Huh. They did get some boats. Their luck is horrible. Oh, that is, uh, that is a huge boat. That, that looks pretty ominous right now. Let me stop this. Alright, guys, we just finished episode 6 right now, Dark Blue Moon, and my reaction, uh, well, my thoughts on this episode is that it, it, it seems that there's a pattern going on where, like, every episode there's, like, a new stand user or stand enemy and they always find ways to fight it now which I think is really really interesting because this new concept of stands like I feel like there's so much more you can do than Hamun because Hamun is just uh, all about creativity but stand takes it up to another level instead of just the same thing but just throwing random power-ups to um, to Hamun uh, they, they can apply the same thing, but to stands, where, uh, the stands has, like, I believe they have, like, every stand has their, like, own specialty, and they each use it in their own special way to overpower each other. I just find that so fascinating, and I think that, it, that stands are, are, like, a much better power system than a homo is right now. I, I just find that... It's, it's very fun to work with, and I, 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 I really enjoyed this new stand thing every episode. So, um, yeah, I hope they keep this up a little bit, because um, cause it obviously seems like no matter what vehicle they're riding, uh, it either ends up exploding or something along those lines. Because right now we lost a plane, and we lost uh, a boat already, and I can't imagine what else they're going to travel in. Um, yeah, so next episode is gonna 
be on like a giant ship. So a new boat. So yeah, um, I, I really enjoy episodes five and six. And if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, uh, and that would really, really help me. I'm really supportive of you guys. Uh, so yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next uh, reaction video, hopefully 7 to 8 then. So, see you guys next, in the next video. Bye.